based on the conversation we had with uh, Hank Goldberg yesterday on our show, he's uh, been our resident Hammer handicapper. And the Hammer has been one of our resident handicapper, our yep. go-to guy for so many years, and now you've joined us uh, as well for the last couple of years yep. on this subject. Uh, anybody looking to to get rich uh, on mm-hmm. uh, on Bel- on the Belmont Stakes might uh, yeah. have to wait for the next leg, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess you could always look at it, Rich. And again, being a horse player my whole life, and you look at it and go, okay, well, tis the law, the eight horses. You know, if the Kentucky Derby was run tomorrow, he would be the favorite, and he's probably the best three-year-old when he is on his best. And right now he is doing well in New York, Brett, going to run into Belmont, and we know the world we're living in. And again, let's put it all in perspective. We know what the real world is. This horse racing world in another world, and it's entertainment, and, you know, we're going to be working on NBC on – on Saturday, and I'll be working from home, which I'm looking forward to that and handicapping, hopefully making some people some money and a little bit of entertainment. But look, it is a law, six to five morning line, meaning if you bet five, you win six. I don't think you're going to get six to five. I think you're probably going to get more like three to five, meaning if you bet five, you win three. So you put eight bucks in your pocket in a matter of about a minute and 48 seconds, which I think that people over at Wall Street would probably take that every day of the week if you can turn five into eight for every minute and 48 seconds you're working. But how do you turn a three to five shot rich into eight or nine to one? And that's my goal as a handicapper. And most handicappers is how can you do that? Well, you can do that by exact is getting the exact order of the top two finishers or a trifecta getting the top three finishers. And so there's value there. Um, if you don't like Tis the Law, you're going to get paid, but he certainly looks like the horse to beat. All right, Eddie Olchuk, you now have the floor on uh, how do you turn that into 8-1, to 9-1. to one. Give me, Let's give me, go, Eddie. Yeah. Come on now. Let's go, buddy. Let's <laughs> you, go. You've got the floor. Well, you know, it's funny, Rich. You just mentioned 8-9-1, to nine to one, and the two horses that I'm actually going to build all of my tickets around are the 8-9 horse. So all let's right. talk about Tis the Tis the Law is the eight horse. He's yep. going to be the favorite. Uh-huh. And I'm also going to use the nine horse, Dr. Post, who's trained by Todd Fletcher, who has won the Belmont, it seems like, a million times, and one of the top conditioners we have in our sport. And uh, the horse is owned by Vinny Viola, who happens to own the Florida Panthers, so a little hockey tie in there. Nice. And Vinny has uh, owned some really good horses. He won the Kentucky Derby a couple of years ago with Always Dreaming, and he won the Breeders' Cup Classic last year with Dino Rosso. So he's he knows his way around the bar, and he's got some good horses. And this is... This is a really talented horse who's coming into his own. And again, Rich, with the pandemic and horse racing and all of our lives being put on hold for a period of time, no difference in horse racing. This horse would not have made the Triple Crown in a normal year just because he did not mature enough or quickly enough to get him to the races Mm. in his three-year-old year. year. So I'm going to be playing all of my tickets around the 8-9 nine eight and uh hopefully turning that you know three to five shot in tis the law into eight or nine to one so uh, i would advise anybody that's looking to play and get their feet wet to uh, make sure that they use the nine doctor post so now is is i'm mandated to ask that since you say the the owner is uh the owner of the the florida um panthers yeah. is po- is the post and doctor post a hockey term Hit the post here? Uh, no, I think, no, this is more on a personal level okay. for for Vinny and the St. Elias Stables than it is a hockey. So, yeah, no, uh, no, no, no. It's not a hockey term. Post, The post, as you know, for goaltenders, the only the only people that love the goal post are the goalies. That's I what mean, I'm that, saying. That's about the extent. No, of no I understand so, that. I, I, yeah, I, I yeah, didn't no, know if. No, good question. Good thank question. You. But no, thank no you. tie to hockey. As far as I know, with Doctor Post for Vinny Viola, didn't know Van B- if Van Beesbrook was part of the ownership. <laughs> I didn't, you know. See, I went and I'm a Ranger guy, and I went Van Beesbrook with Florida. See, I'm trying to connect some dots here. I hear you. I hear you. you know, I hear you. Uh, I hear you. You know uh, okay. So who else? Which which else? What what other horses uh, other than eight nine might you might you consider here? Uh, um, any? you know, I think you got to look at. Uh, I think you got to look at the two horse uh, Sole Volante, a uh, horse that. Uh, now is, I mean, this is new, this is old school uh, racing here. Uh, this horse ran only ten days ago, which twenty five and thirty five years ago that seemed to be pretty normal. Where horses ran, yes, thoroughbreds ran if they were ready ten days, fifteen days after a race. Now this is a horse that will probably be coming from. A good distance out of it, Rich, but the source is doing very well. I don't think Patrick being calling the trainer would be would be sending this horse in this situation. Uh, the horse finished second in the Tampa Bay Derby to uh, King Guillermo, uh, who happens to be owned by Victor Martinez, longtime Major League All Star oh, yes. and player for a long time. He owns that horse, King Guillermo, who might be right now, Rich, 
Victor, he might have the second, he probably has a third best horse three-year-old right now in training, ready for the Kentucky Derby. Um, so an interesting storyline for, for your viewers and listeners out there. But I, I would say you have to use the two horses as well. Uh, the one horse, Tap at the Wind, has got a lot of speed, but I think there's some other speed in here that uh, might put a little bit of pressure. So um, I'm going to build a, like I said, I'm going to build a majority of my tickets around the eight and nine, yep. but I think you certainly have to use the two horse, uh, Sole, Volante, uh, maybe as a horse underneath. Okay. All right, Eddie. So do you take that down, Chris? You take that down? You We're all it down? over it. We're all over it. Okay. All right. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 